long time no talk. How are you? What? My ex-husband? How does he know my number? I changed it after the divorce. Do you know what day is this? It's our wedding anniversary. So what? I don't remember. What does he want? Why now? I'm considering of getting back together with you. My mom says she will forgive you, so come to my house to apologize sometime. I think you're sending the message to the wrong person. You are Abigail, right? You should be honest with yourself. You were waiting for my message, weren't you? My mom took the trouble to request a detective and did a research about you. I said that we can get back together, so you should be thankful. Is your head okay? I think you are making a mistake for someone else, and I think you should go to a hospital. I am not a doctor. You better go to a neurosurgery or psychiatry. Don't be stubborn. It's been three years. I think you've reflected on your actions enough, right? Oh, it's time to have dinner with mom. Let me know when you're going to come and apologize. See you then. It's been three years since I divorced him. He hadn't contacted me until now. What does he want now? Even if he begs, I am not getting back with him. The reason for the divorce was because he was a mummy's boy. Everything he does is what his mom says. His mom picks what he wears. He's filthy until his mom says to take a bath. So our marriage life was him wearing the same clothes, not taking a shower, and his odor was terrible. His mom coming to see the situation once in a few days, and having everything prepared, prepared meals, and he and his mom blaming me that I don't do anything. Few months after the marriage, Jacob snapped and said he wants to get a divorce, so I was able to run away. I have no idea why I married him. I didn't realize it until living with him. Getting back together now? Requesting a detective? I don't want to do anything with him. I'm gonna ignore him. Three days later. What's up? Why haven't you called me? Don't contact me ever. You're still being stubborn. You're hopeless. Get here now. You don't have work today, right? I'm busy working. Oh, I think you said you have a day off. Who said that? My mom heard it from the detective. Do you know what you're doing? This is stalking. If you keep being persistent, I'm calling the police. What's wrong with husband texting a wife? Ex-husband. On top of that, I'm giving in. How rude to call me a stalker. We are complete strangers after the divorce. Stalkers does things that others dislike. It's you. If you get it, don't contact me again. You don't have to be strong. You cannot forget about me, right? No, I can never forget about you. Your body odor and your abusive language. I don't want to remember it ever again. I feel like vomiting only when you are contacting me. I'm already remarried. Don't bother me ever again. Huh? Remarrying? I haven't heard anything about it. Why should I tell you? I'm your husband, ex-husband. Don't do anything without my permission. Permission? Strangers should not interfere. I'm so glad we didn't have children. If I leave your genes, the world is gonna end. Don't you like me? I detest you. You can't do anything without your mom. You never protected me. You got together with your mom, pushed me to the breaking point. On top of that, you smell and are filthy. I wanna erase all those memories. Can't believe this. I've waited three years for you, thinking that you're going to cry and apologize. That's only your imagination. I wonder how your mind thinks like that. You're sick. Before you create new victims like me, you should go get checked at a hospital. Give me back the time I've waited. I'll sue you with fraud and libel. Do whatever you want. No one will listen to your imagination. I am the one who wants to sue you. And also, the violent language that you used on me during our marriage has been recorded, and my lawyer is still keeping it. There's no way that you can win. Hey, please get a divorce. Why? I have no intention of doing that. You want to remarry me, right? I'm super happy right now. Please don't bother me. Give me back the time. I didn't date anyone and have waited for you. 
Not that you didn't, but you couldn't. My mom cares about you so much. Not me. She cares only about you, right? I will say it once more. Come back. Absolutely not. Go wash yourself and go to the hospital. Take your mom with you. Later that day, I consulted with my husband. He said that if Jacob does anything to me, he will come along with me to the police. And also, my husband changed my phone to a new one on the same day. He was so worried, so he said he wanted to be with me while I go and come back from work. He was so sweet and kind. A while later, I heard something from my old friend. I bet it was terrible. Jacob's mom has been getting sick recently. He is such a garbage, so there is no way he can find a new partner. His mom was worried about his future, so she hired a detective and tried to bring you back. Right now, they are both depressed and are sick in bed. I want them to stay out of my life.